This is the Creality CR Ferret Pro 3D Scanner. This is the box it came in, and this is what you get, a nice case. You can take this anywhere and look at what you get in that case. So there's a lot of accessories here. You have your book, then your battery here, the scanner, a phone holder, so you can uh, attach your phone to this and look at the screen as well, which is pretty cool. Then a little tripod stand so you can put this down, which is cool. And here's the battery handle and holder. So you get a lot of stuff here in one package and it looks really cool. So let's test this out. You can use this with your phone as well with Android and Apple, but I'm going to use this with my Windows laptop right here. So let's install that. So I'm going to use that with my PC here, Windows PC, and we just click everything together. So you have this part and you can, this is like a cold shoe for like a camera. You can click that on and it clicks in, in place. You can release that with this little button here. So you can take it off again and put it in the case. So that's cool. And then this is a screw wire right here. This is standard camera screw wire, which you see on most professional cameras as well. Okay. So that's nice and tight. Then we can tighten this in like the angle that you want. So you can use this at an angle as well, which is pretty cool. Then here's the on button. And then we have some different cables. So this is for connecting it to your computer, which is quite a large. Uh, so you can have like a little distance to your computer. Uh, when you're scanning, this is a cable for the rechargeable handle and in conjunction with the smartphone. So then you can add the smartphone handle here. So you can easily look at the smartphone screen while you're scanning, which is also quite cool that they delivered that with this. Um, so you have everything you need right here in this one package. So that's cool. And then here's the cable for the data wireless bridge. So uh, you can attach this to this wireless bridge as well. So you can have wireless data transfer, which is also pretty handy. So those are the, uh, where you can, can put the wireless bridge right on here and then transfer data that way. So you have a couple of options here. So let's use the cable for computer right now. So you can see there's a little bit of a different USB-C cable than you might be used to because you can attach this to like the USB port here and it has these screws. So it, it stays in place. It's like those old like printer cables, right? And those old computer cables that you used to have, like screwing that in so it doesn't go anywhere. But it's still a USB-C cable. So let's screw that in. Okay, so that should be nice and secure. So there's our thing here. And then if you like to use that with the wireless bridge, then you have just a little different setup. You uh, attach the wireless bridge to the uh, Ferret Pro camera right here and then attach that to the battery handle. So you can use that with the battery handle right here. So that's also pretty cool. So the bridge has power or you can use the battery handle with your phone so that has power as well. So those are different options that you can use this. So let's hook this up. And then I already have a USB-A cable in there and I only have USB-C slots left. So there's an adapter in there as well which is nice of them to give that to you. So now we can attach that. So let's plug that in of my Creality software, right open right there. And then we can select our series. And the first time we plug that in, let's upgrade the scanner firmware. That didn't take too long. So we can select our scanner. Right now I'm using the Ferret series. And you can see it immediately recognizes my CR scan ferret right here. It's connected with USB 3.0 uh, instead of the wireless bridge, which you can also use. Then you can start a new product or open a local product or a model or import from your mobile phone. So if you record a session, record a 3D scan with your mobile phone, you can also import that into your Windows laptop to use that further so you don't have to like do all the editing and stuff on your mobile phone. So that's nice. Let's start a new project here. Project is a wall E. <laughs> so we're going to use a little wall E friend object. So you can use face and body mode, which use advanced data processing. So that's pretty cool. So you can set that. This is a normal mode. I'm doing like an object here. And there's the scanner. And here's our subject and the size, you can do size. So this is pretty small. I can see that's 150 to 250 millimeters. I think it's small. Feature, geometry, what's well, like a little ge geometry uh, right there. Accuracy, high quality and disable flat base and no. So now we can start the scan. So now it's initializing. You can see what it is seeing when scanning. So you can see the 
optimal distance right there. And here is like uh, the scanner. It, right now it sees the camera, as you can see, and the camera sees us as well, of course. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then let's go there. And then when you press start, when you're ready, you can start that scan. So the RGB camera and the IR camera, this is what you'll see. So we need to scan everything here. So let's go over that. And you can see these indicators right here. So you have these colors. This is uh, move farther away when it's a little bit red. Good is yellowish. And then green is optimal. So this is all green and optimal. It, it's little uh, front here, the little front head. Then good is blue and then move closer. That's when it's dark blue. Right now I'm in optimal and good for most, but it has lost some of the tracking. You can see it's a bit fidgety with the tracking. Um, I'm losing it sometimes, but you can see the uh, line here. And um, so where most of the uh, tracking has been done. So most of it is in good and then most of it in optimal, just a little bit good um, and a little further away. And then when you lose the tracking, it immediately says that in bright, bright letters there at the top. But then you can also move back just a little to where it uh, recognizes it and then slowly move away again oh. and then you can go over your entire surface area i really like the visual feedback here because mostly i've been a little too close so scanning this with a little being a little further away can help in that regard so my instinct is to scan just a little closer than I'm supposed to. So I like the visual feedback there, it's really useful. Okay, and then let's stop this recording. Complete the scanning, yes. So that's nice, so now we have our subject here. And then we could just clean up all the stuff that I have there around the table, uh, for example. Um, but here's our little Wally, so that's cool. And you can see in there, we have some stuff around here. And this is actually the cable from <laughs> the uh, scanner. So I have to be a little bit more careful that, oh, and I did have to scan a little bit more there, as you can see. But it's pretty cool, pretty easy to do uh, once you get the hang of it. And I really like the visual feedback of this software. So it's easy to see where you need to scan just a little bit better, getting further away or closer. I think that's, that's really handy that they gave that right there in the software. So it's pretty nice. So now if we want, we can click here, one click process, all processing operations with default parameters. Yes or no. You can change the parameters here, optimization settings, resolution, sensitivity. So that's pretty cool. And you can click here to continue scanning. So I can fill in like just this little bit here because I missed some there. Uh, trying to get under his little face there from the bottom, which is also something we should definitely do. But you can, of course, use this as a base and then change some things around there. So I like that you are able to like change it and then continue the scanning if you'd like. And then let's one click process that with the default parameters. So now it's going to optimize this. And now we have a scan here in color. It's pretty optimized. It almost got rid of everything that's not supposed to be there. So it's pretty cool. Oh, and filled in the bottom as well there. So it's nice. Because I didn't scan here, it's just a little bit slanted. So it didn't get that exactly right as well as here under his chin, but still pretty cool. And then we can go into edit here, simplification, mesh smooth, hole filling. So you can fill in those holes right there. And then also export this or share this with Creality Print. If you're using Creality for your 3D printer as well, then you can easily use that too. And then export this and then save that as a apply file. So all in all, a very cool set. You can do this wirelessly with the bridge. You can attach your phone to it and hold it right on that thing. So you can look at what you're scanning or attach is to like a Windows computer like I did just now. So I really recommend this for anyone using a handy and usable 3D scanner.